Hi everyone, welcome back to D stash video number two. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all the stuff I'm de-stashing and getting rid of from cloth and paper. I've got some Elemon Paper Co. Oops, there's another Franklin Planner one. I'm gonna add that to the Franklin Planner pile. That should be the last one. Website tracker. going to add that to the other one because I have all the Franklin planner stuff in video one. If you missed video one, I will link it below. So I'm de-stashing a bunch of stuff. I've been in the Franklin Covey classic size binder. It's a seven ring binder for a few years and I have, has it been a full year yet? I don't think so. I'm now in the Franklin Covey compact size. So these half letter sized inserts I've been hoarding They've been in my storage binder, in drawers, things like that for a very long time. I know I'm not going to use them, so there's no point in keeping them. So I figured I'm happy to give them away to my uh, YouTube family here. And um, I just ask that you pay for the shipping um, because, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. And this would be, depending on what you're interested in, it could be quite heavy. So you pay the shipping and I'm giving these away for free. Um, I thought of selling them. I just, I don't have the energy to do all the posting. Um, yeah, so here we are. Okay, so what shall we start with? Let's do, I'll do these ones here since they're in my hand. So Elamon Paper Co. I ordered these a very long time ago. I used a couple of the time, what are these called? Timeline. Um, so you'd punch your holes here on this side where the logo is. So anything that's not punched, so first of all, this is all in this half letter size that I'm gonna show you, um, apart from a couple things that are in personal size. One, I'll show you once I get there, but these ones are half letter. So if they're not punched, that means that you can use these in, if you're in a half letter disc bound system or a half letter six ring binder, maybe A5. I don't know the exact dimensions, but I know that A5 is shorter. So you would have to trim these on probably um, both sides to, to get them to fit, but you can punch them yourself with your six ring binder, six ring hole punch or disc punch. Okay. So there you go. I order as much as I can. I order uh, on half letter unpunched because not many shops do the seven ring holes um, pre-punched. Okay. So you've got how many of these? You have, so there's, it's 12 months on each side. You have one, two, three, so six months worth, and it's a timeline, so you can use this whatever, however your imagination can come up with something to use these for. I could not. I tried, and I could not. So whatever you can come up with. So you've got January, to, so the first half of the year on the top, the second half of the year on the bottom. I guess you put what, like the, the main thing that you're tracking in the middle and then break it down per month. That's how my brain interprets this, but I'm sure if you come up with a different way to use them that will work just fine unfortunately the cover page is punched because I did like I said I did use two out of these and so yeah so unfortunately so if you are not in half letter you would you could either just throw this away or trim this and then and then repunch it but you would go over the T and it would be a lot more narrow but there you go and then the trackers are not punched and I just couldn't think of what to use these for. So there is enough for four months because they are front and back. So I guess there's a box here you can put a title of what you're tracking and then you put the item here and it's whatever you're tracking for the year because it's the 12 months. So for each month of the year, like let's say it's changing furnace filter, then you just check off each time you change your furnace filter if you have a furnace. That's just one example. Okay, so there's those. So those are unpunched. Elamon Paper Co. is the shop. Elamon Paper Co. Okay. Set those aside. And I think everything else will probably be cloth and paper. Oh, I do see some Jane's Agenda. So these aren't necessarily in the full package that they came with because I've used some. Um, so this is just what's left over. So these are, this is a mood board. I think it came with the home refresh. Yes, yes, okay. So mood board, so if you're doing like a renovation at home or like a refresh of a space, that's what these are. 
So you put your design concept, color scheme, textures, decor and accents, photos and inspiration, and then you just have like grid so you can draw out the space, do whatever you want with these. I used one or two of these when I was for my cottage and then I forget what I used the other one for, maybe my bedroom, I'm not sure. So you've got a few of these for laying out the space. Okay. And one of those. And then we have home refresh to do. So supply list to do notes. And then contact information probably for contractors and things. Another one of these. See, they're not even necessarily in order. They're just a bunch of stuff that, that I've had. Okay, so there you go. These are cloth and paper. Again, they are punched. So if you have a six ring binder, these will not work because the configuration of the seven rings, the, 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 the three here and the three here do not line up with a regular six ring binder. All right, so you would need the Franklin Covey Compact. Uh, sorry, gosh. Classic, which is the half letter, or a day timer, seven ring day timer. These would work. Okay, and then these are just oh, Cornell style note taking. So these are just like journaling. So there's the date, Monday to Saturday, or Sunday to Saturday there, and then just journal, draw, whatever, like a brain dump type of thing. Oh, what's that? Kind of weird that must be the very last page because there's notes on the back okay so those are cloth and paper cornell style note taking i think i have more of these so i'm going to set this underneath these are jane's agenda oh more sm plans so in my last video that i did i believe i had sm plans note taking sheets these are printables and they're not expensive. You can go on her site and you can um, like buy it yourself and print them out. So these are just extras that I had. If you want them, I'll throw them in. Okay, so Jane's agenda. So these are health and wellness type things. So this is um, biohacking inserts. There's one, two, three, four months worth. And I use these quite a bit. If you've been following me for a while, you will have seen these before. And um, yeah, so you just put the month up here. And then hours of sleep, quality of sleep, mood, energy, activity level, quality of food, vitamins. And then there's a spot down here for you to track other things. And then you circle in and then do your, you know, connect the dots as the month goes on. So you can see the trends in health related um, things that you're tracking. So these are unpunched, so you can punch these for your binder. And these are menstruation um, trackers, so there's four months as well in here. So you put the month, that would be the day of, this, of your cycle that you're on, and you track your um, symptoms. Okay. Jane's Agenda has her own, um, so one being low, two being medium, three being high. So for me, for example, if I had like a migraine, I would put a number three in there. So then that would be a three to indicate that was high, um, high pain and low pain. Like, let's say um, I had just had low energy that day, but I was still able to go, out, go about my day. I do a one, that type of idea. So there's four months there because they are front and back. All right, so unpunched. So you can use these in whatever binder you want. Cornell style. Oh, no, sorry. These are a cloth and paper executive style note taking um, inserts. So you have the subject on the top, you highlight the day of the week, the month, and the date, and then away you go jotting down your notes. These are dot grid. And I don't know that I used any of these. They're still in the package. At the time they were new. I'm sure they're not new anymore, but they're called executive notes. Okay, so you've got those. These I never used. These are daily itinerary. Half letter not punched. I really like these. I've been hoarding these because I'm like, I'll use them one day, but no, I won't. Um, so yeah, you and they're undated. So you can use these whenever you want. So you put your date up here and you can track the weather, which is cool. The temperature, 
things to do. So your task list for the day would go here, your meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, spot for notes, and then here's your schedule. And it goes from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. And I love these. And they're the same front and back. Okay. Oh, here's that cover page for the journal. Where did those go? Here we go, right here. This is a couple more. That's what these are. Journaling inserts, monthly mood tracking, journal entries, and affirmations. That's what these are. Oh, and they give you even a little some ideas on how to use it. Gratitude, self-reflection, self-love, mental health, and inner peace. So I did use a few of these. So this is not the full package. It's just what I have left over. Okay. And then I used a few of these too. These are task delegation. Again, half letter size from cloth and paper. And the uh, so they give you a demo page here to show kind of how to use them but you have you pretty much just do a brain dump of all your tasks what's priority what's not priority and then the due date for them and then you put the date up at the top okay so there's your demo page and there's quite a few in there oh one does have um holes and i slit them so that they can just tear them out, out without having to opening without having to open my rings, um, but otherwise the rest are unpunched. Yeah. Alrighty, so that's those. Packing list. I used a couple of these. I don't travel apart from going to my um, cottage. Packing list, that's what these are. So I did use one or two, but otherwise everything is there that it came with. So you put your essentials, clothing, toiletries, technology, shoes, and then on the back, is a spot for everything else. So there's faint little circles there. You can check them off as you've packed them. Okay, you can put a title here for what the items are. Okay, so those are the packing list inserts from cloth and paper. And then, how did that get in there? Mental download. There we go. This does, oh, it does go in there too. Never mind. Okay, so <laughs> these are called mental download. So yeah, just brain dump ideas could be project could be anything. Um, three ideas that you have a visual whether you want to draw or just more note uh, space for notes, and then the date at the top and on the back it's general and then notes. And I punched um, one of these, and then I never used it. So in it goes. With the rest so there's only one that's punched the rest are unpunched okay executive note taking with the grid these are my favorite i like these so much i ordered them in personal wide size for my um, franklin covey compact so you put the subject up here highlight the day of the week the month and the date and then you put all your notes in so these are cloth and paper they are all punched because I did use these a lot and I've got one loose um, Cornell style note taking inch. There might be more. I'm not sure. Well, oh, yeah, there they are. I don't know why that's loose. So these are the Cornell inserts for taking notes and this is what they look like. So you put the subject, your notes. I, I couldn't get into these. So I'm like, what am I going to put here? And then here's a spot for your notes and there's a um, a blank space at the bottom. I don't know. They just didn't work for my brain. So I only punched one and I didn't end up using them. Okay. So that's those password tracker. These are pretty self-explanatory. 
So you put the website, username, and password. I did use these quite a bit, so there's, there's a few in here, but it's not the full package. And then these are from cloth and paper. I think I may have used one or two out of this, um, out of these here, this package purchase tracker. So you put the date, the description, category, and the amount. Okay. And then these are mental wellness. And you put your focus on the top, positive affirmations, mindful intentions, and free thoughts. I used a couple of these. I really liked them. I'm tempted to keep them, but... Ah, uh, no, destash. That's the whole point point of destashing. If I haven't used them in a year, I'm I'm not gonna use them. But I like them. So that's these guys. Wellness, mental wellness. Okay. What else do we have? I think I went over those in the last video. Jane's agenda stuff. Yes, I did. Okay, now. This came in an order from Paper, uh, Paper Panda. I guess she did a collab with Fancy Plans. I didn't even know it was a freebie. Daily, ref it's just a notepad. I think I used one sheet out of this. So you put the date, how am I feeling today? Great, okay, not good. Daily gratitude, daily affirmation, today's intentions. It's things that made me smile today. So yeah, that's just a little notepad there. And I have some Paper Panda stickers that I'm never gonna use. So these are like for tracking habits. You put your up here what you're tracking and then each day of the week. I thought, oh, I'll use these for water, right? And then you put like water intake and then check off each day that you drink your, you know, your eight glasses of water or whatever. So anyways, monthly habit trackers, cell phone, stickers, I guess. Oh, bills, yeah. So when you're paying your cell phone bill, cheat day, cook dinner, it's like a little apron. It's cute. Meeting. Meal prep. And baking. I just, they're cute, but I, I don't, they're not me. I don't use them. So throwing those in there too. Now, if you are a personal planner, I have some personal stuff. So when I, again, you've been with me for a long time, you know that I had quite the struggle when I first got the Franklin Covey compact binder. And I was ordering from all the shops because I didn't like the variety that Franklin Planner has with for the um, Franklin Covey Compact size. So you're kind of limited with their inserts and I, I didn't like that. So I ordered personal thinking they'll fit, but they're way too small and way too narrow. So you can see personal size is quite narrow. So I ordered these from Cloth and Paper because I love them, the glass dashboards or um, sorry, tab dividers. These are called the CEO. So it's schedule, lists, projects, finances, goals, ideas, and miscellaneous. So they are frosted on the back and shiny on the front. They're beautiful. Never use them. So if you are a personal size planner, there's these six tab dividers. And I did use these for a little bit. I tried to make them work. Um, and they're just a week on two pages. It's just too small for me. So the whole set isn't here, but there's a few weeks. So we've got those. This is from Cloth and Paper as well. Oh, I love this so much. The Boss. I don't think th she sells this anymore. Like every time I've gone on their site because I want to get one in personal wide, it's not there. So it's the Boss. B for Boss. Dashboard. And then the Girl Gang tab dividers. Aren't these so pretty? They're pink. Oh, Girl Gang and um, CEO. So the difference is with the CEO, schedule list projects, finances, goals, ideas, and miscellaneous. And the Girl Gang says the grind, inspo AF, um, Girl Gang, Moolah and whatevs. I thought those were so cute, but these are topped tab dividers. So I thought that would be cute. And I got both so I could mix and match. And I love the pink and black. I had all the ideas. And then I'm like, oh, these are way too small, way too small. So I don't think she sells the, these are cardstock. I don't think she sells these anymore, but she might, I, I'm not sure, but there you go. And then this is from Recollections that I got years ago, 40 sheets. I don't even think I've used anything in here. 
again, it's personal size. So I went a little crazy when I first moved into the Franklin Covey compact size, thinking personal was the same, but it learned the hard way that it's not. So it's just a bunch of note papers. You can either put this in your binder or just tear them, tear the pages out as you need them. I love it. It's grid, just a bunch of note paper. Okay, that is for personal. That's all I have for personal. So if you're interested in that, that's what I have. And then I got this at the planner conference in um, September. I was gonna say January, what the heck, in September. And it's, I'm just never gonna use it. I love the idea of it, I was so excited. Um, but it's the Morning Sidekick Journal series. So this is the first one, I guess there's two others. And it's from Habit Nest. And it is to help you conquer your mornings, conquer your life. And there is a quote that I do like, um, if you, when you win them, when you win the morning, you win the day, something like that. So conquer your mornings, conquer your life. And if you've been following me for a while, you know, I'm a night hawk. I don't get up early. So I thought this is going to be perfect. But who am I kidding? I am who I am. So there's their mission, table of contents, um, their mission for this journal. And then they go into the why, understanding your why. So this is a spot for you to journal the who. Right, so the outcomes, your identity, the processes, identify you, your identity on your off days, the what, like it's detailed, it looks great. It's like a journal to help you uncover all the things and to help you conquer your mornings. So here's an example here. So it's like day one, is it day one to day 30? I think it might be day 35. Oh no, look at that, it just keeps going. So it like helps you day by day and there's a spot for you like my morning routine my morning ritual tomorrow will be and then you check them off when they're completed last night i slept at i now woke up at my most important task for today is and what causes me stress and how i can do better to respond to it like it's really good it's really really good but i just know i'm not going to use it so that is called the morning sidekick journal if you are interested and it comes with a ribbon to mark your page okay now I have one more thing you guys may remember oh, I have one more. okay uh, you may remember driven day sent me some beautiful stuff and I know I'm not going to use these so I'm giving them away unfortunately this is, so this is a planner it's, um, it's just gorgeous it's cork but because it's it's um, January to December, unfortunately, you won't be able to use it for January or February. Um, so that's that's the crummy thing. But you can start fresh for March, and it's a really cool journal or um, like planner. So it's what's going on this month. So this is March. Here's your monthly layout. Okay, monthly budget. Stuff goes here. Spot for notes. Your schedule. What's going on this month my goals this month so you can use visuals pictures to write just write it whatever you want so different categories family career health education character whatever you want to do and then it's basically day on one page and it's not a schedule it's more tasks right so it's um and she gives like a little cute little quote on the, the top of each day like if if you hit the target every time it's too near or it's too near or too big Anyways, um, tasks, maybe later. So these are probably high priority, like these need to get done today, maybe later. Get in touch with, so if you have people you need to follow up with. Appointments and meetings, write them in there. Today I'm grateful for. And then random, your menu for the day, health. And then to take it to the next level, check in on this month's goals and check it off. And then there's a spot for you to write another goal. And it goes like that every day. And then at the end of the week, your Saturday and Sunday are together. And here's where you do your, your meal planning for the week. And you put your shopping list down here. And then it continues. So it's it's a really neat concept. I've never seen a planner like this before. It's a spot for you to put your weekly goals. So she does this like on a Friday. You put your weekly goals and then notes. Your to-do list. Go into your weekend. And then you're starting your new month and, and so on. So it goes like that for the whole year. 
So the company is called Driven Day. I love the cork. I love the, I just, I love, I love it. I love it. But it's just not how I plan. Okay, so there's that gorgeous planner. And it comes in this box. And there's also the notebook. Clean notebook with a white satin ribbon. And it's just lined paper. I don't do well with notebooks like this. I was tempted to keep it like for meetings and things. But yeah, I'm like, I know myself. I won't use it. Okay, so there's the Driven Day stuff. And then I forgot to mention, with the Jane's Agenda, these habit trackers came in, I believe it was my February box too. So you put your habit here, and then there's lots of, lots of space for lots of habits, and then you just check off each day that you do that habit. And there's enough here for the whole year, because they're front and back. There's six of them, so there's an, um, enough for the whole year. So I know I'm not going to use these, so these will be available as well. And I think that is it. I think that is it. I'm glad I was able to get this done in two videos. Oh, sorry. In the Driven Day also came with this little pouch. It says Drive. And there's two pens that came with the stuff. Two little gold pens. Okay. And then this goes on your fridge. And it's for your menu planning. So you do like, I guess, maybe what you're having for dinner each day and then what you need at the grocery store. And then you just tear it off and away you go. All right, so that's that. And I have this cute little goal planning book. If you um, have, again, if you've been with me for a long time, you know I did the Jilly Academy. Jillian Harris is Canadian and she is a designer influencer in BC. She was on The Bachelorette um, Canada and uh, love it or list it Vancouver. Anyways, I love her and I, she did, she made a brand strategy course called the Jilly Academy and of course I signed up and she also did a, like a box, like a Jilly she does a Jilly box um, with all her favorite items, but she did one specifically for um, Jilly Academy. Um, and this came in it, but it's, I'm not going to use it. I just, it's beautiful, but I'm not going to use it. So it's just about goal planning, bright ideas, my legacy, smart goals, domino goals, actual annual goal setting session, a little crossword puzzle. So it's it's a it's a fun creative way. There's three months, three months worth in here for like what you're grateful for, goals I will today I will accomplish, things like that. So yeah, it's so cute, but I'm not gonna use it. And I love the peach colored ribbon. So yeah, so there's that too. So I'm destashing a lot of stuff. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you're interested in. Again, I just ask that you pay the shipping. And North America only. I apologize to all of my friends who are not in North America. Um, yeah, it's just too expensive and it will take far too long to get to you. So that's it. That's it for this video. Email me, DM me on social media. That's probably the best way. It's easy to send pictures that way as well, um, but you can email me as well, all right? So those are all my D-Stash items. If you would like pictures of anything that you, maybe I went too quick and you'd like a closer look, let me know, I'm happy to do that. And um, yeah, let's hope I can get rid of all this stuff and get it out of my house. All right, guys, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video, bye.